Hello again, everyone. I'm Tyler Pyron of the Pulse Network at thepulsenetwork.com, and we are having a conversation leading up to the 2012 NAB show and the great content shift. Now, we're talking with Jim Roberts and Ryan Burgoyne of Commotion. And last time out, guys, we talked about, you know, radio shift and social media. But now let's focus on, well, another shift, a shift in technology, if you will. And let's talk about mobile devices and the impact mobile devices have had on radio to this point. Well, what's it really been like, Jim? Well, it's pretty significant. Um, number one, you know, radio has always been portable, but now it's probably even more so. And it's in everybody's pocket, and it's right there through a smartphone. They can stream their favorite radio station wherever they go, even when they're out of the listening area. So when they're on vacation, they can listen to their favorite radio station. And because of the social networks that are also in their pocket, now they can interact on more of a two-way type of level with Facebook and Twitter. I was going to say, Ryan, one of the things that I find interesting, going back to our last conversation, really, when we talked about social media, and now it seems like mobile almost enables people to do well, a little bit of everything all at the same point in time because we all know, obviously, that everybody wants that content really anytime, anywhere, any place, it seems. Yeah, I mean, that's, that's really what mobile's all about. You know, we want to take our favorite things with us when we go. Radio is no different. Uh, the difference is, is how I'm accessing that radio station. And uh, basically, you know, the, radio, the listeners are basically looking for this experience that they can listen to their favorite radio station, kind of interact with that station, uh, kind of stay on top of what's happening that's important to them. I was going to say, well, as far as that's concerned, what is important to them? I find it interesting. Is Are we seeing it, you know, as typical, you know, talk radio, or is this a little bit of everything across the board, Jim? Uh, I think it's everyone across the board. Um, you know, talk radio may have uh, a bigger advantage um, in that, that they can interact more with their listeners, you know, during political shows or sporting events or something like that. But, you know, music radio has always been looking to interact with their listeners, and, and mobile is allowing them to do that all the time. Now, from that standpoint, as far as mobile goes, is it strictly something that we're seeing as, you know, well, they're just using mobile to tune into their favorite radio station, or is it they're truly utilizing it as that application-based, uh, Ryan? Are we seeing it one way or the other, or is it kind of split down the middle? Yeah, you know, I, I think it's um, kind of split down the middle. I, I think that we, we're kind of seeing it um, kind of in both areas. You know, I think we're definitely seeing it on the mobile side where people want to, uh, you know, engage their listener and, uh, specifically those listeners want to engage back to the radio station and so that's why the mobile apps have become really a hot thing with radio stations. Excellent. It definitely has been. I know I've got about six of them myself without a question. For Jim Roberts and Ryan Burgoyne, I am Tyler Pyburn of the Pulse Network. This has been another conversation leading up to the 2012 NAB show.